good doing it. He is doing exactly what his corner won't want him to do. Right hand lead by Chavez. Taylor flurries in return. That was, a that was a terrific round for Taylor. We've seen Chavez get off to this kind of start against Buck. Less talented fighters than Meldrick Taylor, though. He started slowly against Sammy Fuentes here in November. The expectation of Taylor's camp is that he can get away with low blows to the side of Chavez's body. They trade a right and a left, and Taylor did more damage with his left hook. Taylor is bleeding in the mouth. Yep, it's dripping out from between his mouth guard. Good right hand inside by Chavez. We've been told that Taylor had that cut inside his mouth during training. So it could be that an old cut has been reopened here. You see the right hand of Taylor, he's dropping it. Yep, and Chavez is throwing over the top of Taylor now, beginning to land with more consistency. Right hand leads, doing the damage for Chavez now. A solid left inside. This right hand. One of Chavez's extraordinary capacities is his ability to take a punch. And he has already taken some solid blows here. Ray, in that, in that combination, he did what you were talking about before. He threw three or four punches and then he got out of there. But they didn't linger. That's true, Larry. That's what that's the key to the fight for Taylor, is get in and get back out. is still boring in, coming straight forward against Taylor's flurries. A solid right hand at the bell for Julio Cesar Chavez, but it was another round in which Meldrick Taylor swarmed him. Good right hand lead by Taylor. Still trading four blows to one for Chavez. Chavez tries the left inside, Taylor comes right back. As long as he's moving, Jim, he won this fight fine fashion now get out solid left hand by Taylor and he moves back out the promotion for the bout Ray called it thunder meets lightning lightning there was a good straight left by Chavez that snapped Taylor's head back in that characterization Chavez would be thunder and Taylor lightning but there are a lot of people who think that Julio is not a powerful puncher up here at 140 pounds he's been knocking people out but not down it's always been an accumulation of punches that's what he's going to have to hope to be able to do here against a Meldrick Taylor who in the first four rounds has gotten off to a fast start and would appear to have built an early lead on the scorecards against the man who is 66-0 coming in. Well, Ray Leonard, would you say a near-perfect performance so far for Meldrick Taylor? It's a very good performance by Meldrick Taylor. He's been doing what he needs, needs to do. Boxing, just boxing, using speed. Right hand lead by Chavez Lance. Taylor comes back with an uppercut. Chavez is looking for Meldrick Taylor's head. That's not an easy target. Don't hold him, don't hold him, shit. To keep Chavez occupied. The dilemma for Chavez, at least partially, is that it's hard to play offense when you're playing defense every second. The first thing that Chavez wants to do is block the shot. Again, Jim, this kind of fight, this inside fight, it wears the fighter down. Is it possible, Ray, that he's getting a little tired to stay outside and that he's finding, trying to get rest in there? It's better for him to be on the outside, Larry, to get that breather. And within the last 30 seconds, Chavez has landed three solid left hooks inside. Taylor comes back with a bristling uppercut. And another flurry for Meldrick Taylor. But there may have been a subtle trend, Larry, in the last minute of round five. Chavez landed three solid left hooks inside. If he can get that weapon going, it's the one which would be most likely to bring him back. Taylor is still exchanging to the body effectively. They trade punches inside, and Meldrick seemed to wobble for just a second. 
Chavez is not getting the kind of leverage he's used to getting against fighters when he can back them up against the ropes. Right hand lead solid on the face of Chavez. This is a masterful fight with no utility. It is from this point on that he has done his most damage in the past. But tonight, Chavez, who normally lands upward of 50% of his punches, is down in the 30s. So he has not been as effective as he expects to be. Solid left hand by Meldrick Taylor. And Chavez showed you there his incredible ability to take a punch. He watched the life in the legs of Meldrick Taylor. Still a lot of bounce. And that gets back to the fact, Ray, that Chavez has not done damage to the body like he used to. He hurt done. Chavez just then. Chavez buckled. Chavez is damaged by the first minute of this round in which Taylor has landed at least three solid left hands. Just to clarify, the rest of my prediction was that Chavez would turn it around in the second half of the fight and score a TKO in about the 11th. Like I say, I don't know if I have much confidence in that right now. Taylor still blistering Chavez inside. Meltzer Taylor's getting his entire body behind his punches. He's not really known to be a big puncher, but here he's getting a lot of leverage behind the left hook of his. Solid left hook inside by Taylor. Chavez continues to try to come back with the left of the body. But he is not hurting Taylor. Till has controlled this entire fight, so what he needs to do is maintain that concentration and keep fighting this fight here. Chavez landed a left. Taylor flurries furiously in return. He's more apt to move around, and Chavez does not fight this. This is not his fight. Which suggests that Taylor has driven him off, that Four. he doesn't want to pay the price. A right and a left by Chavez, and more blood comes out of Taylor's mouth. Taylor begins to flurry with the left again. This is dramatic stuff. You're seeing a young fighter at the very top of his game against one of the greatest to have fought in the last 20 years. He is far more poised than I was for my fight with Duran back in 80. A lot of concentration here. Crowd chanting Mexico, Mexico, trying to lift Chavez up. Now there's something you never saw, Meldrick Taylor motioning Chavez to come to him. As if to say, come here, you're an easy target for me. Yeah, when the cornermen start saying, for the love of God, they know how desperate the situation is. Taylor lands a right-hand lead to start the round off. Taylor went straight for Chavez. It's incumbent on Taylor not to give Chavez an unnecessary chance to get back into this. Look at the speed of Meldrick Taylor's flurry. Reminiscent of a young Ray Leonard. I love those combinations, Jim. He gets them in. They're so beautiful. He puts them together very well. And one thing those combinations do, it takes the crowd out of the fight for Chavez because from a distance you can't see if any or all of those punches have landed. They come so, mm -hmm. so many. <laughs> he's standing in the middle of the ring where Taylor wants to fight. He hasn't been able to get him to the ropes and he's being outpunched two or three to one. And still outpunched to the body as well. If you've just joined us, you're in the middle of the ninth round of a classic performance by a young fighter on the threshold of greatness. Meldrick Taylor coming into this bout, an underdog against the unbeaten Julio Cesar Chavez, has completely dominated Chavez with hand speed and vicious infighting. You know what I see now, Jim, is the fact that Taylor's coming out on top, fighting inside. And few expected that. I've seen more by shots thrown by Taylor than I have by Chavez. And the left hook to the body is supposed to be Chavez's hook. great weapon. Oh, Taylor landing at will with the left hook inside, Ray. Blood now from Taylor's mouth and nose. But nothing is slowing him down. Chavez with a right hand that woke up the crowd for a second. Savage left hook to the body by Taylor another and finally Richard Steele gives Taylor a serious warning about low blows 
Let's go, Sandy. Let's go. Let's go. It's a test of will as well as skill. I see here when Till is telling me that he'll block the uh, left hook to the body with his arms. He's doing a good job with it. He's carried out George Benton's game plan to perfection. Whoa, beautiful combination. Brady punches inside, and Chavez again seems to wobble slightly as Taylor lands at will. Brilliant stuff from Melvin Taylor. Chavez on the verge of going down. Now he smiles as he slips a punch. Incredible fight by Melvin Taylor. This man is in shape because of the, the, the tempo of the fight and the combination he's been throwing. And Chavez, the great body puncher, is reduced to headhunting. So I'm watching the effects of the punches. When Taylor lands a punch, Chavez, he, he rocks Chavez, but also Chavez is able to rock Taylor. Blood again from the mouth and the nostrils. Watch Both the legs beginning to close. Chavez is coming on. Watch the legs of Taylor. They all seem to be too steady here. Chavez finally seizing the initiative for the first time. And for the first time, there's a mild air of danger from Eldrick Taylor. Come on up, come on up. Right now, it's like who wants it the most? Well, you can never question Julio Cesar Chavez's desire. We see two real champions here tonight. The combination is about both men. Melvin Taylor, incredible. It, it doesn't get a whole lot better than that, guys. Taylor handles, handles this, because this is the toughest fight he's ever been in. Best punch of Taylor is the left hook. Look at it, three, four left, left hooks at a time. As round 11 comes toward a close, Julio Cesar Chavez must begin to contemplate the reality that he's got three minutes in which to produce an unlikely knockout, or he will see his streak end before thousands of his countrymen. The impressive thing, he's still saying comments is thrown by Belgian Tiller. Here in the 11th round, incredible. Two hard punches at the bell. Harold. How do you have it? Larry, 9 to 2, 108, 101, Meldrick Taylor. I think he's run his way to a unanimous decision. If you're a fight fan, get ready for three minutes of high drama now as a desperate and determined Julio Cesar Chavez tries to take out a fading and battered Meldrick Taylor who has completely dominated him through most of the fight. Now here's, but he's a warrior. Look at him. He's trying to stay there and trying to apparently push Chavez out. Play it safe and box. a tired Meldrick Taylor slipping to the canvas. You would expect the aggression to be with Chavez. It's more so with Taylor. He's finding like he's behind on points. Well, they're both tired. Watch your head! Another solid left hook from Meldrick Taylor. Stops the bout at two minutes, 58 seconds. 
of the 12th round, the winner and now holder of both the WBC and IBF 140-pound championships from Culiacan, Mexico, Julio Cesar Chavez.